What's going on, bros? Ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, I want to talk to you about not only surging sparks and what we know so far, I'm going to talk about all of it, okay? Because we still need three more hyper rares, like three more SARs, and I think four or five more IRs from Supercharged Breaker that are, are, aren't even revealed yet. And that set comes out next Friday, okay? So that's kind of a big deal, considering Supercharged Breaker is one half of Surging Sparks. So we're going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about what we know so far, the products. I'm going to look at some of those illustration rares, give you my opinion, do a little quick Justin Basil and Pokey Beach one over. And then I'm going to segue. We're going to segue this discussion. This is not a big editing. I'm not going to do a lot of editing. This is going to be a, you know, uh, just, just listen to me talk video. Okay. All right. Surging Sparks is going to be a really good set. It's not a big set, okay? It's not a Paldea, it's not a Paradox, okay? For whatever reason, we, we are still waiting on the next Paldea or Paradox size set. It is very equivalent to Twilight Masquerade and Temporal Forces as far as size goes, okay? So it's going to be a, a very medium, increased difficulty pull rate set, referring to Surging Sparks, okay? And it's going to have a, a wannabe Paldean Fates Charizard, that high dragon, um, and a Pikachu Chase, okay? It's been a while, I think, what, since Vivid Voltage, that we had a Pikachu Chase card? And, you know, it's still over 100 bucks, right? I think, I think, the VMAX, the Rainbow. I don't know, but we're going to talk about that. But more importantly, I also want this to segue into Pokemon TCG over the next year and a half. Why? Because next year, 2025... Uh, is the final year of Scarlet and Violet, that era. This cool uh, peripheration of artworks and stage one and basic Pokemon as chase cards. Um, that's why this is such an awesome era, is because it's the first era ever where basic Pokemon and stage one Pokemon have been featured as chase cards, okay? And, and then, yeah, the illustrations have been, okay? Ever since Crown Zenith, everything in Pokemon has been, all right, so good, all right, all right. But next year is 2025, the final year of Scarlet and Violet. What's the year after that? And to be very specific, what's February 27th, 2026? The 30th anniversary, y'all. The 30th anniversary. Generation 10 is following the Scarlet and Violet era with the 30th anniversary and there's a lot of things, a lot of little indicators, a lot of things all across the uh, that are indicating a large amount of strength and increase in interest in this hobby leading up to the 30th anniversary. So the next year and a half in general, I just want to kind of talk about. We're going to start with Surging Sparks uh, right now. Okay, so Surging Sparks, here's the, uh, we haven't been revealed any specialty boxes, collection boxes, or any of that kind of boxes, boxes yet, right? But we do have all this stuff, okay? So, first of all, is this, po where am I on, Poke Beach or Justin Basil? I always mix them up, we're on Poke Beach. So, the booster bundles, the three-pack blisters, let's look at the, th my favorite thing ever is the three-pack blisters. So, the Quagsire, that looks, you know, it's Dece, Quagsire's Dece. But what's really decent, I think, is this Zapdos. The unfortunate thing about all these online photos is they don't show the beautiful Cosmofoil, like, at all, sadly. So you don't see all the beautiful swirlies and all that. It is going to be rather amazing, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, so we have Zapdos, we have Quagsire, and then on the singles, we have a Wooper, and we have... Pe Pe Pesherisu, so Pesherisu, whatever. Wooper is kind of cool. I think Wooper's cool, uh, but really, it's the Zapdos. I think is the the good banger right there. So the Zapdos, there you go. Uh, but everything, the the three pack blisters, the single pack blisters, these triple evolutionary line blisters, the booster bundle, all of it. I think all of this is going to be released on November eighth altogether. Um, cause every, every set, they trial out different things. Like they hold off the booster bundles, you know, it looks to me like everything is going to be released all at once on November 8th. I could be wrong, but okay. So 23 illustration rares, 11 special illustration rares, six hyper rares. Okay. Well, let's look at what we know of those so far. 
So first of all, here's 18 illustration rares, which means we still have five more illustration rares from Supercharged Breaker to go. So let's check this out real quick. And I think, yep, I'm just gonna sc scroll right through these. Execute. That That's great. That's a great pink card. Not a lot of pink cards. The Milsery was a pink card. Uh, executes a lot more popular. The Brave, Shenotic, Sunny Chaos Form. This is a Final Fantasy card that got slipped into a Pokemon set. It is incredible. Phoebus, the Spiel. This is like the perfect, you know, just like a penguin or seal. Well, I mean, like seals. <laughs> like seals, like a leopard seal or whatever. It's falling in the water, being lazy. Bruxious. That's a $2 card. It's a Titan. That looks really cool. Looks like a cooler version of the Obama Snow. A little easier to see. Latios to go with the Latias. Mesprit. This is also part of that. It's Everyone thinks it's a Latios, Latias, double. It's actually a trio. The Mesprit somehow, I think, fits to the left of the Latios. Latios in the middle, Latias to the right by Breva. This Clopopus is so going to... Our entire lives... This card will remain undervalued and underrated. Let's just be honest. This is cool, but it's not that cool. Glarian Dog Trio. Skarmory. Haven't seen a Skarmory card in a long time. And that is one very, very steel looking Skarmory. Terminator 2 Skarmory. Uh, Flapple. Appleton. This bravery is sick as shit. And then, yeah, there we go. So there's the 18, which means still have, what, th uh, five more? So the full arts, there's definitely, I believe, still a few more full arts that need to be revealed from Supercharged Breaker as well. The Black Curium is amazing. Look at that. Oh, my God. That's a beautiful thing right there. Um, I do have, let's see here. So the full art Pikachu, that's pretty nice. Good, good, good looking Pikachu. I like the Terras on the full arts, especially the rainbows. I think the rainbows actually go a long way for helping out these full arts. The Cyclozar. Hell yeah, everyone hates Cyclozar. I love Cyclozar. So to see a full art, uh, little diamond hat one, Terra, that's cool. Surfer Boy, Lucilia, Guzma, all them, they're good. Uh, okay, so right here, we should get, well, hold on. We should get, I believe, two more, two more supporter full arts, which will also be two more SIR supporters. Because I think we're going to have... So this is eight. We need three more cards. I think we're going to have one more Pokemon reveal, and then we're going to have two more supporter reveals from Supercharged Breaker, which will give us an 11 total. And you go down here to the Hyper Rares. Uh, we got Counter Gain, Executor, and what is this one again? Not Hyper? I forget. Whatever. There's supposed to be six, though. So all three Hyper Rares from Supercharged Breaker next week, next Friday release, still need to be revealed. All right. So let's uh, go to the actual list real quick. So here's the regular set list. This is like, how big is this regular set? So when you're opening packs, you go right down here to 180, 109, 191. So 191. That doesn't necessarily mean that much because, I mean, even Obsidian Flames has like 180 cards in the regular set and it's a tiny dinky little set. So it's not a big deal. But... It is good to know that there is that many cards in the set because it makes opening the set funner. It makes it way more entertaining. You get way more uh, reverse hollows uh, as far as master setting goes. I don't, I'm a master setter. I master set every single set that comes out. Um, and I, I don't like, I don't like the fact when that sets are small and easy to master set. Like, I like the feeling of master setting a way, way bigger set. Um, like Paldea, like, the heavier the binder, the better, and the, the better the master set feels, in my opinion. There's going to be a lot of A-specs, eight A-specs in this set. You would think maybe one of them is going to be good enough to give Prime Catcher a run for its money, especially since Prime Catcher is about to be reprinted in a big way. Sorry, I'm just scrolling through these cards right now. The overall general artwork... Okay, isn't there a Sylveon? There's a Sylveon in here somewhere. Hold on. This is what pisses me off. This Sylveon, look, I know Terrastal Festival is coming out soon, but the fact that they put a Sylveon EX, beautiful Sylveon EX right here, but not a full art or an SIR Sylveon, it, it, if they're better, I mean, obviously there's got to be one in Terrastal Festival, and maybe they're just hinting at it with this right here. But yeah, that's the only Sylveon. God, even that EX looks so good with the borders, dude. 
Sylveon's a top five for me. Absolutely. Sylveon, Mew, Mimikyu, a couple others. Yeah. All right. So now I just want to talk. Look. So again, it's going to be a medium sized set. Okay. It's not going to be Paldea. It's not going to be Paradox. But it's going to be very good. It's going to have. You know, the Latios and Latias, who knows what. Everyone before uh, Stellar Crown came out, me included, was positive that either the Squirtle or the Bulbasaur would, you know, shoot through the roof and get pumped to oblivion. Did that happen? Absolutely not. No, it did not. But the Pikachu, the Latios, the Latias, that is a different story. So Pikachu's a possum bud, I believe. It was a possum bud. Yeah, he made a great video about Chase Pikachu cards like a couple weeks ago where he's just showing all the Chase Pikachu cards and how over time they don't do near as good as Charizard chases. Like, they get hyped, pumped to oblivion, and then they, they fall pretty hard. And yeah, that's historically very true. And so here's the thing, though. We got a medium-sized set. We already have proof that in a medium-sized set with difficult pull rates, you can have some seriously high uh, uh, top-end value, like Greninja's at 270 right now, right? Uh, as popular as Greninja is, everybody knows Pikachu is more popular. Um, everyone now knows uh, the whole, like, opening a booster box and you only get, you know, you only have, like, a 60% chance of actually pulling an SIR, which started with Temporal Forces. So there's a lot of actual reasons that this Pikachu could be worth a fair amount of money, like in hold value. Um, and it, I mean, even just right now, the Charizard, you know, I know it's Scarlet and Violet 151, but Charizard SIR, a year, a year and two months after release, for the first time ever, just cracked 150. I think it's up to 160. I'm going to make this week's hottest cards as soon as I'm done with this. It'll be out tomorrow, but trust me, we'll, we will be talking about chonky boy charizard clearing 150 tomorrow because whew, we all knew it was kind of only a matter of time right but all right so look again uh certain sparks it's going to be a very good i i just i think it's going to be a lot like uh twilight masquerade um where yeah like it's the it's so similar in size to twilight masquerade the pull rates everything is so in line like one off maybe at most two off as far as the card counts for rarity tiers, it's very Twilight Masquerade esque. Um, but you know, Twilight Masquerade is a very strong uh, set for if you love trainers. Like it, like Twilight Masquerade is the best set ever if you love trainers and you love value and, and hard to pull trainer cards. Twilight Masquerade is for you. But look, Surging Sparks is going to be the set that Vivid Voltage never was that I always wish it could be. Like. I would, now is time. Let's let's start segueing into the bigger picture in the 30th anniversary. Okay, so Surging Sparks, I think, is going to be the first set that kind of kicks off a a a buildup of hype moving into February 27th of 2026. I think the entire last year, I think basically every era in recent memory, the last year of that era is always the best year of the era. Like. That is clearly the case with Sword and Shield, right? Like, the last year of Sword and Shield is massively better than the first year and a half of Sword and Shield. It's it's not even close. And you could say the same thing about Sun and Moon, for sure. And this this Scarlet and Violet era with, with uh, you know, Team Rocket, and we got the uh, Terrastal Festival for the high class coming out soon. We got the Trainers Pokemon. They're literally digging into the well and giving us absolute banger favorite reincarnations of sets from the past okay and so that's what the last year of an already banger era is going to be and again leading into the 30th anniversary generation 10 aka january february 2026 okay so what i'm saying is that all that future hype Plus things like Paldea Evolve got a reprint, all right? I made a video, and it, it said it was called Why the Paldea Evolve Reprint Doesn't Matter. And even I, even a guy who made that video, like Why the Paldea Evolve Reprint Doesn't Matter, even I was shocked at how 
minuscule the price dip was. Like Pelde is already over, back over 140 a box. Like it, it's literally like the Pelde Evolved reprint that people were talking about and wooing about for a year and a half or year leading up to it. Like literally for an entire year, everyone's like, Pelde is going to get a reprint. Pelde is going to get a reprint. Pelde is going to get a reprint. And then it got a reprint and nothing happened. I think the box might be worth more now than it was a month ago. And I'm not even kidding. So things like that are showing massive strength in the sealed game. And then things like Charizard, Chonky Boy, up over 150 freaking dollars a year in two, three months after release. That is a huge positive sign for the uh, raw and graded game, okay? Magikarp's still going strong. Never dipped under 100 and is going back up. It's like 110 to 120 right now. The point is it did not continue to free fall and it's going back up along with everything Paldea, okay? Like the signs of strength are everywhere you look. The signs of hype are building every time like it's it's all building towards a crescendo that is the 30th anniversary okay like just it just is and and so over the next year and a half i think that surging sparks is going to do very well i think the next high class set which in english it's being rumored that it's going to be called like what is it like sparkling evolutions or prismatic evolutions or something it's not going to be terrestrial festival it's going to be something evolutions or evolutions or whatever that set's going to be a banger okay it's evolutions people are simple people just want charizard pikachu and evolutions okay like that's how you get the big the big just that the big action all right so all that's coming and then team rocket okay team rocket is the other half of the like there's just People love Team Rocket. I don't know how to say it. Like, when it comes to Watsy sets, like, Team Rocket's probably, well, I mean, Skyrim. I'm okay, but the earlier Watsy sets, Team Rocket is definitely the best. I think Expedition and the E Raiders are pretty freaking banger. But look, and then Trainers, like, just Light and Dark or Misty's Blank or Giovanni's That, like, it just adds so much nostalgia to the modern set that's coming out so much hype to the modern set that inevitably all of these sets will be slightly less they will all be 20 percent less exciting than everyone thought i think surging sparks it's gonna have a, a delay it's gonna have an opposite of twilight masquerade effect where nobody was excited about twilight masquerade and then it kind of build build it and build it whereas i think everyone's excited about the surging sparks and then it'll fade somewhat quickly once everything gets revealed and everyone starts pulling stuff but it'll still be a massive step in the right direction. The Team Rocket set will be a step in the right direction. The Trainer's Pokemon, all of it is building to an absolute, not explosion, just a nice little mini bubble. Another just generalized mini bubble, but a healthy bubble, driven not by COVID and influencers and bullshit and crypto and all that kind of stuff that was popular during the last bubble. A bubble driven by nostalgia. A bubble driven by incredible artworks. A bubble driven by a celebration of 30 years of the Pokemon company just giving us the good shit year in and year out. All right, that's all I got, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow on this week's Hottest Cards. Deuces!